Hi everybody. Okay, so today I have a rather large empties video to share with you guys. So these are the things I used up last month in the month of October. Alright, so I used up some makeup, skincare, hair care, and some home care stuff. <laughs> so quite a variety, a mixture of different things. I do apologize, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, someone mentioned in my last video that uh, they could hear me breathing. I just, I'm a loud breather anyways. I'm a mouth breather. I have asthma and allergies. And then when I'm sick, it's like 10 times worse. So I'm sorry. I I breathe funny. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sick. I'm a little raspy and I breathe extra heavy because I'm sexy like that, you know? <laughs> okay, so the first thing I used up and I'm so sad. I'm so sad <laughs> about this. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I've used this pretty much nonstop for like the last year, <laughs> I would say, and I've finally run out of this. This little guy lasted like forever. I was in the color light. I don't remember if I said that or not, but anyways, this is an amazing foundation. I say it's like medium to full coverage, you know, it's like buildable, but it's super duper long lasting. It's like sweat proof and waterproof. So if you wear this working out or you're just a sweaty person in general, <laughs> this is going to stay on your face. So absolutely love this. I will repurchase this. Really, I really am going to miss this. I loved it. I squeezed every little bit I could get out of it. Okay, another thing I used up, well, it kind of dried up too. This is the Lorac. 3D liquid luster drops and they were just like a little sparkly liquid glitter. It came like in a little dropper and you can pat this on top of eyeshadows and things like that. Um, I did really like this but I don't, I won't repurchase. One, it's expensive and um, I'm not entirely sure about Lorac's um, animal testing stuff. I got back some like conflicting, confusing information from them. Um, so, I don't know, but it's like 20 something dollars, so I'm not going to spend the money on that just for some glitter. Alright, I used up a couple mascaras. Well, one I used up, one I'm just throwing away because I do not like it. This is the Organic Wear, this is from, <laughs> this is from Physicians Formula, it's the Organic Wear, um, Fake Out Mascara, and it's, it comes in a big obnoxious pink leaf tube. Um, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. To be honest, it has a really big wand and that wasn't like my favorite thing and it didn't do that great of a job with my lashes. I still prefer my Giordana Best Lash Extreme over pretty much any mascara I try because it's $2.99. Now a Giordana mascara that I don't like and I'm just going to go ahead and toss. Um, so I'm not going to use this up. It's not really technically an empties. It's just going out of my collection. This is Giordana's Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Giordana launched two new mascaras here in the last couple months, and they both weren't, they weren't anything that I liked at all. Um, they weren't anything special. Honestly, their original Best Lash Extreme is the best, so don't bother with the new packaging and new stuff, because it's not as good. Okay, well, another thing I am just tossing, I hate this so much. This is Julep's DD Cream. I got it in the color light. It is like too, too, too dark and way too orange for me and I, I'm just never going to use it and never going to use it. So I'm going to see if anybody wants it. Um, so I'm probably just going to give this away and if they don't like it then they can just toss it for me because I don't like this. Okay, and then I used up a nail polish remover from Julep. This is my favorite nail polish remover. It's the Acetone Free Conditioning Nail Polish Remover. Looks like this, and it comes in a little top that pops open, and you can just press down the cotton ball on top, and it dispenses the liquid. So I keep repurchasing these, and I've gone through probably about four or five of these, and I really like them. used up my favorite eye makeup remover. I don't know where the top of it went, but this is the Sonia Kashuk Remove Eye Makeup Remover. So this is originally like a half purple water and half white kind of liquid, and you just shake it up, and it mixes together, and it takes off your eye makeup nice and easy. It's about $9 at Target, but I really do like it. It doesn't irritate my eyes, and it takes off waterproof eye makeup easily. 
um, without tugging and pulling. So I do like this and I will repurchase this. I used a face scrub. It's just like a sample size I had gotten in like a trial kit. Um, this is the Ole Henriksen Walnut Complexion Scrub. It was kind of like, um, smells really good. There, if you can see in there, it was one of those like actual like scrubs that had like little seeds and granules and wow, I feel like it was nice and exfoliating. I really just do not like these kind of um, scrubs that have like the coarse thick seeds that don't like eventually dissolve away so I hate taking it off my face like it's just so annoying it always gets stuck like in my hairline when I'm trying to wash it off these kind of scrubs just annoy me I like it smelt nice worked well just it takes first stinking ever to wash off all the little beads I like the kind of um I like the exfoliators that you know have some grit to them and then they eventually like you know dissolve <laughs> with the water while you were scrubbing so that that way you don't have to work forever to try and rinse off the remnants of the little beads and such. So, you know, I won't repurchase, obviously. It was a miss for me, but it wasn't bad. It's just my personal preference. I I hate spending forever washing off all those little beads. And then I used up a couple things from Lush. The first thing was just a sample. I left a little bit on the top so you could see. It's the Rub 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 Shower Gel. Um, I really like this. It smells very nice, um, but I feel like the scrub itself, because it's meant for your body, is way too fine and dissolves way too fast, especially like, you know, for your body, you really want to slough off any dead skin or grossness you got going on. Um, so this didn't provide enough exfoliation for me, so I won't be buying a full size. I re <laughs> Something I have already replenished, I've repurchased. This is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I don't know if there's even anything left. Pretty much no. I scraped it nice and clean. Oh, it still has that scent to it. I love the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. It's like my favorite thing of life. It just feels so luxurious in the shower um, to use it. And then when you get out of the shower, your skin feels so soft, so smooth. Like This is like something Cleopatra would have used. Like It's that luxurious and divine and amazing. I just get these little sizes. Um, I just get these little small sizes, and I get them in the um, rosy gift set, which comes with a bunch of bath stuff that I really like as well. So if you're wondering why I keep showing a little one, it's because I get it in a gift set, and I think it's a really good deal. So one of these little sizes lasts me about three months. So delicious. So glad I didn't just run out and didn't have a backup of that. I would have been really sad, but I have a backup. All right couple um, bath products that I used up. I used up the Rose Jam Bubble Rune, which is amazing. It's a like bubble bar mixed with like a bath melt kind of where it makes your water really soft but creates um, nice bubbles. And that has the same scent as the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. So I will most definitely repurchase that next time I'm near a Lush. And then I used up the Twilight Bath Bomb. It was just a big purple kind of lavender ball like that. <laughs> it's kind of awkward just to show you the paper. Um, but I used that up. I love it. Twilight is one of my favorite bath bombs. You just pop it in the bath and it fizzes up a bunch of fun colors and smells delicious. And it makes for a fun bath. So yes, I will repurchase that. Used up a kettle face wipes. Um, first one is from Kirkland and it's the Daily Facial Toilets. To <laughs> toilets. <laughs> it's the Daily Facial Towelettes. Um, I actually have grown to kind of like these. Um, they're, you know, affordable. You get a big pack for like $12 for like, I don't even know, like 500 wipes. So I might repurchase. I don't know. I still have some to go through. Something that I won't repurchase, this is the 7th Generation Lavender Soothing Facial Cleansing Cloth. Absolutely hated these. Will not repurchase. They are terrible, guys. Don't buy them. They're just like rubbing a baby wipe on your face didn't remove makeup. Yeah. Um, something that I go through a lot but I just forget to show on my empties. I also get these from Costco in a big pack. They're the Deloine Plus. They're just like little premium, they're just like little cotton rounds. I'll pull one out. This is just like a little cotton round and it has like an exfoliating side and then a soft side. So I use these all the time to take off my eye makeup, to take off my nail polish, to use my toner on my face. I mean, I go through these like mad. So I just thought I'd show you guys that in case you're ever wondering 
what kind of cotton pads I use or cotton rounds I use to take off my makeup, take off my nail polish, to apply toner to this face. Now you know. Um, <laughs> I like them. They're soft. They're good. They don't hurt my eyes. They don't puff up and pull away and pull apart and they're durable and you get a billion of them for like six dollars or something like that at Costco. The a hand cream that I will most definitely repurchase. Um, portions of this goes to breast cancer awareness. This is from Karen Original and it's the hand treatment in the scent Citrus Sun. This smells like an orange creamsicle. It smells so good. Um, I actually buy this at my work like in the hospital gift shop but there is a website so I'll put it down below. Um, I'm sure you can find it places or order it online. Um, but if you ever see this brand, definitely take a sniff and try it out. It's a really nice moisturizing hand cream and I will definitely repurchase this. I used up a shampoo from Macadamia Natural Oil. This is the Rejuvenating Shampoo. I will most definitely repurchase this. Um, I don't know when because I have a couple other shampoos I'm going through. But I just love this. It was such a great... Um, sulfate free shampoo that didn't strip my color. It got my hair clean and it didn't lather a lot but it still gave a little bit of suds to let you know that you're actually cleaning your hair so it worked good. I like it. I would repurchase it. I used up a shampoo. This is from Biomega. It's from Aquage. Um, it's the Firm and Fabulous Hairspray. I loved this so much. However, it's expensive and the company won't even and the company and the company won't email me back so um, they're not willing to answer my questions about animal testing so probably not cruelty free so I have since um, replaced this with a Giovanni hairspray that I'm actually quite enjoying so I'm not so sad that this is gone because I found something that works just as good and cheaper and I know it's cruelty free win win okay I used up Alright, last are my home fragrances. I used up a couple scent shots from Candles by Victoria. Um, I hope you guys like seeing these. These are what I pop into like my scent warmer in my home. So these are like the scents I went through this month. Um, the first one was blackberry. The first one was blackberry caramel rice pudding. Um, this smells really good. However, it didn't have the biggest scent throw. Now, granted, it's just a scent shot that I'm throwing in. But most of the time, her stuff has like a really ridiculous like outpour of scent. Um, but this one wasn't as big of a scent throw. It still smelled nice and still put a fragrance through the room. Um, it just didn't do it through the rest of the house like most of the time it does. Um, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this one. And one that I will repurchase, I don't know where the bottom went, but it's just the top. And that's all that matters because it has the name on it. Um, and you can still smell it. This is chocolate zucchini bread. I love this. If you like bakery scents, you'll like this because it just has that nice bakery bread scent and then the sweet chocolate and then like sweet sugar. It smells like you're baking some yummy chocolate zucchini bread. Bless my husband's heart. Like when I pop this in, he's like, I keep smelling something delicious. Are you baking cookies or something? Like he got really excited. I'm like, wah, wah, wah. It's just my scent warmer there and this just a yummy fragrance. I'm like, so, husband approved, this smells delicious. He thought I was baking, he thought I was Betty Crocker, and I was not. I just, I just tricked him. <laughs> okay, so, um, I used up a couple Bath and Body Works candles. I have, I don't have that much more of these to go through. I maybe have like five candles to go through. Slowly working through my Bath and Body Work. Um, excess of candles and stuff I had hoarded up. I haven't bought from Bath and Body Works in over a year, but I'm still, it's taken me this long to get through because I always was buying stuff from them. Um, so I did find out, I don't know if you guys watched in one of my videos, I don't know what video it was. Maybe it was my last empties. I think it was my last empties. Um, that they're not, their parent company is what tests, so that's what makes Bath and Body Works on the naughty list for me and that's why I won't repurchase and won't buy from them. But I did really like these candles. First one was Cider Lane. This one was really intense and gave me a little bit of a headache at first, but after I got used to it, I could deal with it. Um, it just had like such a ridiculous amount of fragrance coming out of this little thing. Like, it was, okay, it's kind of getting to my sinuses now. It's a little too much, but it smells good. And this one my mom bought for me. I think this is actually like a newer one. Um, if people buy me Bath and Body Works, I'm going to use it, you know, and I enjoy it and I appreciate the gifts. 
and stuff. So I appreciate what my mom gave me, um, even though I won't repurchase myself. Does that make sense? I hope so. But I did really like this. This smells really good. This is Cider Donut. It didn't have the hugest scent throat, but it was okay. And it just smelled like like baked goods, like a donut and cinnamon and apples. Cinnamon apple donut, you know, to smell like I wanted to eat it. So, those are all the things I used up for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish YouTube still did um, video responses because I would love to watch your guys's, but nonetheless, you can leave me some comments of things you used up and you can let me know about them. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I heard you guys all. Bye, everybody.